All right, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. All right, before we get started, let's give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and taught us this truth. And Shalom to our brothers out there throughout the four corners of earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazatba. Shemar War. And we come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Prayer, Yahweh Shim, Yahweh for the elect of the nation of Israel. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Be Not Conformed to This World. Okay? You know? Be not conformed to this world, man. And that actually goes into uh, uh, quite a bit of things, man. Okay? You know? Being not conformed to the ways, all right? The conduct of the society, how the society, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, acts, man. Okay? All right? But without further ado, we're going to start, to start it with the scripture. This is Romans chapter 12. I beseech you, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. holy, mm -hmm. acceptable unto the Most High. It's a holy and acceptable unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. It's a living sacrifice, man. All right. So while coming into this truth, all right, learning about Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, who the Word calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, there's things that you got to sacrifice in this world, man. Okay. You know, keep right. Which is your reasonable service? Uh, which is your reasonable service? Something that you know is only right, only fair to do. Okay, you know, keep on reading. <clears throat> and be and be not conformed to this world. It says, and be not conformed to this world, man. And when you actually look that word up, conform. Okay, I, I got it into my dictionary right now. It says it's a verb, so this is an action. It says, be not conformed. It says to be obedient. Or comply, it says, uh, to make or make similar, to be agreeable, to be in fashion or form or shape, you know. And so, so really, what it's saying is what be not conformed to this world, don't comply to the ways of this world. Now, of course, if you're at a red light, you're supposed to stop at the red light, okay. You're at a traffic stop, you gotta, you know, do what you gotta do. It's common sense here, and you know, you gotta use common sense, but. What it's saying is, be not conformed to the ways of this world. What this world promotes, you know, the lifestyle the world promotes, man. Okay, you know, being a homosexual, being a, a transgender, being a, um, you know, a, a committing adultery, you know, getting in shape of lineups, all these things, okay, you know, that we're not supposed to do according to the scriptures. This is what this world promotes. So the Lord's saying, be not conformed, be not after the same fashion. Of this world, man. Uh, read it from uh, that one part again. All right. This is, um, this is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, being transformed, being what? Changed. All right. Now your fashion is, your, your way of life is being changed according to the scriptures, man. According to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and what the Lord says to do. That's why our brother's been doing videos heavily about repenting. Okay? Being not conformed to this world is going heavily what, into what? Repentance, turning back from uh, um, from wickedness and coming back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You know? You know? So being not conformed to this world are but, you know, but believing in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and trusting the Lord and his words. Right, and conducting yourself in that fashion, that's what we ought to do, and that's what's really transforming us right now. The words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Keep your ring, bro. Okay. It says, um, <clears throat> it says, but be ye, re, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind, man. Okay, because when you come into the truth, you're renewed. Okay, you know, your mind is refreshed. All right, turn what born again. Okay, reborn. All right. You you made as a uh, infant again, what, but what learning righteousness now? Okay, keep on reading. That ye may prove what is that good. <clears throat> Slack it. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Try, man. You know, and you know, in doing so, you're gonna prove what you know the perfect will of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai in these scriptures, man. Okay, when you uh, you change your fashion unto the ways of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, it's gonna be made known that this is the true way. Okay, you know when people look at you, they're gonna know that something's different about you. Why? Because you're not conforming unto the ways of this society, which is wicked. 
Okay. You know, but I know you want to preach a real fast song. Okay. This is uh, First Peter chapter, I mean, chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope and hope to the end for the grace that, I mean, for the grace that is to be brought upon you mm -hmm. at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah, read that from the time. One more time, bro. All right. This is uh, 1 Peter. Uh, this is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Mm -hmm. Be sober. It says, so get your mind right. Be sober. Meaning what? Don't be, because, uh, you know, to be sober is not to be, you know, intoxicated. Okay. And what are our people intoxicated right now with? All right. What? These other philosophies of the world, man. So the Lord is saying, be sober, being sober of the of the philosophies of the world, because those philosophies are also known as wine or something that intoxicates you, man. Okay. So be sober from that, man. Come into the life, the truth, all right, which is going to keep you sober, man. Okay. You know? <clears throat> And hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. You know, that grace, you know, that mercy, okay? You know, we want that mercy when Lord Yahweh Shah comes, man. But to get that mercy, you have to what? Be not conforming to the ways of this world, but conform yourself, as scripture say, to the image of the sun, okay? You know, because every uh, society has a, a, a image or a way of life, okay? Our way of life, we're we're conforming it, or we're changing it towards the image of Yahweh Bashim Shah what the Lord uh, wants us to be like, you know. All right, verse fourteen: As obedient children, not fashion yourselves according to the former lust uh -huh. in your ignorance. And being obedient, this goes back to being humble, man. Okay, you know, but not being like your former self, which is what pride. All right, because what is pride when one uh, turns away from his maker and our people turned away themselves away from Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So instead of being prideful and turning away from the Lord, we're drawing closer to the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, or who the word he calls God in Jesus Christ, man, humbling ourselves. All right, keep on reading. Verse 15, but as he which have called you is holy, mm -hmm. so be so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. See, hey, see, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, he's holy. Okay, they're holy, man. You know, non-defiled. So to, to even come to the Lord, you must be the same way. Fashioning yourself after them, man. Okay, we are fashioning ourselves after the ways of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and the Lord is looking at us and being is uh, being pleased and what we're doing, man. So even to come back to the Lord, you got to what you know change, man. You know, birds always say. Change, change, change. Repent and change, man. You know, feel sorry. You not only say you're sorry, but feel sorry, and and, and actually change your life according to the scriptures, man. That's how you repent. Okay, that's how you turn back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You know, this is how you be humble. You know, so on and so forth, man. Okay, you know, this is how you conform to the image of the Son, man. Okay, humble yourself and obey Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Right? You have something else, bro? Yeah. This is Acts 17 and 30. Uh, in the times of the... It's lucky. In the times of your ignorance, the Most High winked at, uh -huh. but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Hey, you know, because at one point, we were doing wickedness, and because we didn't know better, the Lord, you know, winked at it, man. Meaning what? The Lord didn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, he let it pass. But now that we know better... The Lord is not having, uh, uh, not letting up, man. We know better, so we got to do better now, okay? You know, the Lord is telling us now to repent, turn back unto him, and do better. Because if we don't, you know, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they're going to be destroyed because they don't want to do so, you know? Any more on that, bro? No, that was on. Uh, that was it. You got in the precept? I got five, man. That's all good. Yeah, just go back to the, you know, the original one of Romans, you know, 12. So, and we'll, you know, we we'll read that one last time. We'll close it out. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. That's right. Don't fashion yourself after the ways of this world. Be separate. Okay. You know, keep going. 
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind. Be transformed, man. Okay? Conform yourself unto the image of the Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Righteousness, these scriptures, man. You know, this is how we repent. This is how we turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? By being obedient unto the will of the Lord, being obedient to these scriptures, man. Okay? You know, so hopefully this lesson was edifying to the elected nation of Israel. You know, repent, turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Believe, keep the faith, you know, keep on pushing, man. Okay? So with that, before we close out, let to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who ruled well and taught us his truth. And shallow on to the brothers out there that the full conserve, pushing this word and narrationness and sincerity. Until next time, say to the elect, shallow on. Shallow on.